Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and in this mini lesson, we are going to look at least common multiple, sometimes called the LCM. Let's get started. What we're going to see today in class, or in this lesson, is we're going to talk about multiples, common multiples, and then least common multiples. So let's get started. Multiples. The multiple of a number is when you multiply a number. That makes sense. And seriously, that's it. So when you're thinking about multiples, you just have to think about multiplying. Multiple, multiply. Sounds pretty straightforward. It is. Let me show you an example. Show me some multiples of 3. Well, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 20 is 60. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 12 is 36. Those are examples of multiples. The numbers in red. 3, 6, 9, 60, 36, 600, 300. These are all multiples of 3. We multiply something times 3, and it gives us a multiple of 3. So 3, 6, and 9 are all multiples of 3. That's it. That is as basic as it gets. These are multiples of 3, all of them. So I'd like for you to go ahead and identify the multiples of 7. Go ahead and identify the multiples of 7. There are several of them up there. You can pause the recording if you'd like. And welcome back. Here are the multiples of 7. We have 7 times 1, which is 7. 7 times 2, 14. 7 times 3, 21. 7 times 8, 56. And 7 times 100 which gives us 700. These are all multiples of 7. You don't have to list them in order. Those are the multiples of 7. Notice the other four numbers are not multiples of 7. You can't multiply a nice um, you know, whole number times 7 to get any of those numbers. So let's switch gears a little bit and talk about common multiples. Common multiples are when two numbers have the same multiple. The next part's actually really difficult, so I want to brace yourself. Uh, seriously, get ready for this. Um, I'm just kidding, that's it. That's really all it is. Two numbers that have the same multiple. Pretty straightforward. Let's work on it. Finding common multiples. We are going to take two numbers, 2 and 5, and we're going to find common multiples. To do that, you list some multiples. You can't list all the multiples because you could do two times every number from you know, 1 through infinity. You'd never stop. But we're going to list some of them. So here's some. 2 times 2, 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4. I just listed a bunch of them. Those are multiples of 2. Now I'm going to list some multiples of 5. I'm just listing a couple of them. I don't have to go crazy. I'm going to list just this many of them. Which multiples are common? Well, 10 is common, 20 is common, and that's it. That's how we find common multiples. All right? You can just list some multiples of the numbers, and those are the ones that are in common. We're going to transition just a little bit. I don't know if you noticed a pattern here, um, 10, 20. If we kept going on those patterns, you get this, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Those are all multiples of 2 and 5. These are all common multiples. Okay, so let me pick one, for example, um, 50. 2 times 25 is 50, and 5 times 10 is 50. They are both multiples. 50 is a multiple of 5, 50 is a multiple of 2, and so it is a common multiple of those two numbers. Here are just some examples. These are some of the common multiples of 2 and 5. In fact, every single pair of numbers has an unending number of common multiples. The number of common multiples can go on infinitely for any set of numbers. Okay, so we will never be able to list every common multiple of, a, of any number. We won't ever be able to list every multiple of a number. But the most important one that we actually work with, the most helpful common multiple, is the least common multiple. 
So we can find that. You can never find the greatest common multiple because they go on infinitely. But you can find the least common multiple, and in this case, it's 10. All right, the lowest number that is a multiple of both of them. Let's practice a little bit. Find the least common multiple of 4 and 6. You can pause the recording to try it out on your own. The steps. First, we list the multiples of these two numbers. It doesn't matter how many you list as long as you get a low one. Um, you're going to look for multiples that are common. 12, 24, 36. These are all common multiples of 4 and 6. Now we identify which one is the least common multiple. In this case, it's 12. 12 is the lowest number that is a multiple of 4 and a multiple of 6. And that is what we're trying to find today. Let's do another one real quick. Find the least common multiple of 3 and 12. You can pause the recording if you'd like to go ahead and try this one out on your own. Here are the steps. We're going to list some multiples. There are some multiples of 3. There's some multiples of 12. I didn't list very many because I don't need to list very many. All right. Now I'm going to identify which multiples are common between them. 12 is a multiple of 12, 12 times 1 is 12, and a multiple of 3, 3 times 4 is 12. It is common between both of them. So 12 is the least common multiple. Now if we continued on our list, we would have found lots of other multiples, and there's an infinite number of them. But we are not interested in listing all of them. We can never do that. We are list interested in only listing them until we find the lowest one, which in this case is 12. That's something that um, whoop, that you'll often see in math questions is they, they'll maybe try and trick you with, by putting this where 12 is the least common multiple and it's one of the numbers. And that's, that's a common type of question, so I wanted to prepare you for that um, inside of this. All right, so the number itself can be the least common multiple. So let's uh, do a quick recap. What did we learn? One, we learned how to list the multiples. Two, we learned how to identify common multiples between two numbers. And then three, we learned how to find the least common multiple. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.